Talibo, you're looking at. I want to speak a bit more about this game instead of going off too much. I wanted to ask you all about Richarlison. I'll go to Daniel first because he scored again today. The show's <laughs> back up. It, is this just a purple patch or are we now seeing his quality rise to the surface? Terry, I said it from day one where he came back from the surgery and he scored the two goals. I think he was playing through pain. I generally think he was playing through pain and that surgery has helped him out now. You can see the performances that he's putting in. I think it's four goals in three games. I think it is. That's, that's phenomenal. That's phenomenal. And now we can call him all night. Now we can call him all night. But... <laughs> Nah, but he's actually been playing so good. And it's not only scoring goals, because people are saying that he's scoring tap-ins. Like, his build-up play, dribbling has been good today. Mm. His passing was good. Like, I, I honestly think that the fans that were saying that Dane Scarlett should be starting ahead of him, uh, fans were saying that he needs to be sold to Saudi this January. That's ludicrous. They, they, they need to come out and give an apology. They need to come out and give an apology, because this is the man that we spent £60 million on, and this is the player here today that scored... Four goals in the last three games. That is Richarlison right there. That's the Richarlison that I knew we signed. That's the Richarlison that I support. And that's the Richarlison that is my number nine. And Dan, Dan, that's what I was saying. One, 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 one second, my friend, one second. Alan, Sorry. from your point of view, which is on the Richarlison subject, it's a number, yeah. quite a number of goals now. Do you think this is a purple patch? Or like Daniel says, you're seeing the real Richarlison, a.k.a. Tottenham's R9? Um... It's not Tottenham's R9, seriously. Um, look, it can only be described as a purple patch because that's what it is at the moment. I mean, you look at the, what is it, two, 18 months he's been here, and this is the, literally the best vein of form he's been in, so it can't be anything other than a fur, purple patch. I just can't understand why Spurs are, like Spurs fans, are just a bit of goodness, and we're like running away with just... Today's performance was anything but good. We were lucky to get the win, and we got the win. Let's just take it to the next game. We've got more problems occurring than, than obviously we're solving at the moment. Romero probably out. People going away for the Asia Cup and Afcon and all that. You've got that back line that's all over the place. Let's just settle down. Let's let's just take it one game at a time and see where we do it because it's just like there's so many problems at Spurs that need to be fixed. We need to act cor correctly in the transfer window and sort out these problems. But again, th this whole let let's oh Richarlison RR9 Tottenham challenging for stuff and all that it's ridiculous I look Spurs are doing well we're look where we are in the table compared to where people thought we were going to be after losing Harry Kane we're doing well but we just can't keep as soon as something goes right that's fine look in hindsight that's fair enough we got the win Everton finished their chances today we get stuff four or five two at home and then Spurs fans are in there going, oh, well, we did this wrong or injuries or that and that. So we've got to keep it balanced. And it's just, I'm, it frustrates me that Spurs fans, look, you can you can get excited about how we're doing in the league, fine. But just to say we're challenging and we're doing this or we're doing that, just one game at a time. It's, it's For me, it's ridiculous. I and mean, you can say the ifs, but if, as I said earlier, if Oliver Skip would have made the right decision on the four chances he had, we would have won like 5-1. So the ifs don't really matter. Uh, yeah, okay, but let's just say let's just say that on another day that if um, free kick wasn't given because we've seen we've seen stronger tackles not being given and Emerson Royale then it's two two and look at the amount of tra like if it weren't for Vicario it could have been four two anyway. This is what I'm saying. Look, we get the win, which sometimes you have to win ugly, and Spurs won ugly today, which is good. But we can't just go oh oh we're back with with this. Alan. Okay, Spurs are also known for bottling as well, Harry. We've got to be honest, mm -hmm. we really are. We almost done it again today. We just got over the line. I'll ask you this, Alan. I'll ask you this. All right. I know I, I know I talk sense a hundred percent of the time, but this is just to go over that percentage. Make it 110. Right. <laughs> Champions League final the other year. Yeah. Let's say it didn't turn out like that and a huge disappointment. I cried that night. I'm sure some of you did. Very sad night. Let's say it was nil-nil the whole game. Liverpool dominated us. If they would have scored this one, if they would have scored that one, and Sissoko heads it in 96th minute. But we were awful. We were absolutely awful. Would you celebrate it just as if we won 5 0 that night? What? My yeah, so Harry, Harry, no, Harry, no. Harry, I, Harry, I understood you. Yes, Spurs fans would, but that's a one off game winning a trophy. What Alan is talking about is the sustainability of the I know, team. I know that. Forward. So, it, it, again, so so there's a difference. I guarantee you, Alan's happy they've won. 
Yeah. But he's also sitting here hearing R, 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 words like R9. He's sitting here hearing, hearing we're going to finish in front of Arsenal in the title that. race. And yeah. I think he feels like that's a step too far. As yeah, a, yeah. That isn't celebrating a win. That's taking it too far. And that's yeah. me talking from the outside yeah. in. So there's an element of you can celebrate a win, but with, you know, it, without um, thinking that your team is literally... I, I mean, I just don't think you're better than Arsenal right now. I know you're I only three I think we're on par. I think we're on par. Sort of write them off the way you did. I, I think it's crazy when, when you're what comparing about when we get Madison, though. When we get what Madison and Van der Ven back, yeah. Do you think? Do you think? Obviously, you need to see results as well. I mean, once we have them them two back, do you think your opinion will change slightly? No, I, I, look, I just my opinion will still be again, all things being equal. I think Arsenal will finish ahead of you. I'm not saying they're going to finish 20, 30 points ahead of you or anything crazy like that. But <laughs> no from, from no, no, I don't think they will. I think you're a good team. But it's the way you dismissed Arsenal like they're bottle jobs and rubbish. And then you weren't too sure if you're going to finish ahead of them or not. And it's a weird thing to like call someone crap, basically, but then not to think you're better than them. It's I, I, If you're not better than someone, typically you don't call them crap. Well, Terry, I'm doing I'm doing dry January. So I'm sure in that month um, you might you might hear a lot more um, sophisticated answers in relation to most of the football fixtures we foresee in that month. <laughs> we, we will certainly certainly see what happens today Alan you mentioned the performance today I, w- I wanted to get your on your, your take on it uh, thoroughly because you started off like a ball in a china shop Reese yeah. said earlier in the show that for the first 30 minutes of games you may be the best team in the world but then it does go a little bit sketchy what do you put that after those 30, first 30 minutes first 45 minutes what do you put it down to while there's a bit of a drop off um, complacency from players um, I, I don't know because <laughs> It could just be that, obviously, look, 2-0 uh, up after 30, 35 minutes, one of the best periods I've seen Spurs play. It was like, we sh- we could have been 3 or 4 up. That was brilliant. And I was thinking to myself, this could be put to bed early, done, dusted. I don't know if it's complacency. I don't know if it's because Richard, um, Romero sorry, was carrying the knock and it caused problems in the back line. It could have been anything like that. I, I think it's complacency. I think it's a little bit of immaturity, both from... Obviously, the players mentality wise, but that will come over time. See, people in the comments think I changed my mind. No, no, no. I've said give this manager two or three years and the right and the right back in, and he'll win Spurs trophies. But we're not there yet. And you can see why this on another day, if we were playing and look, and it's obviously a hub fickle, an Arsenal or a Liverpool fan, a uh, Arsenal or Liverpool team would have destroyed us today. That's how open we were. So it was good that we played Everton and we took our chances and we got over the line. Fantastic. But it, we, we're just not there yet. Um, look, we've shown it in the back line. You've got Emerson Royale, clearly not good enough. When Dyer came into that back line with Davies, we looked all, all at sea. That's where we need improvements. This is why it's going to take time. Alan, so, but the doggy's coming back. No, okay, the doggy's coming back, but he's not one. We haven't got one man defence. Van der Ven still out for a couple of weeks. Well, was Dick Romero out as well? Yeah, look. Well, no, he's got a thing on his hamstring, isn't he? So, like, he was uh, icing it. So, he could be out for a couple of weeks. We don't know. It's too soon. But Van der Ven, not back for a couple of weeks. Porro, okay. Yep, he's good. But their wing, wingers, centre, cent, central defensively, in that second half, we were all over the place. Mm. So, we've got problems yeah. there. Obviously, you've got Madison still not sure when he's back. You've got people that, obviously, Hoiberg and Skip aren't at the level to push you onto a title or, or win trophies in the future. You've got to build a time. This is what I'm saying. Yeah. It's good where we are positionally, but a lot of problems are still there. I, I, I think it's a great base that you guys are crazy. I want to do some super chat. I know everyone wants to go off and watch this massive game starting soon. On, uh, goalkeeper, man of the match, that means lucky win. I, I think there's an element of luck, you could call it, but a goalie making saves is no different to a top-class goal scorer scoring goals. I, I wouldn't necessarily say lucky per se. Uh, fringe players like Skip and Dyer are so crap. We are we were so lucky in this game. That is from Jerome. Also, Son, Basuma, and Saar going to play for their countries. We need quick reinforcements in January. Yeah, that's where it could really fall away with the loss of those individuals. The photo shows the ball uh, hit Vicario's leg. That was in the last minute. Yeah, about. yeah, yeah. I'm just yeah, but. It uh, doesn't stop goal line technology. I'm just going by what people yeah, are saying. I, in the comments. I didn't see that. The stream I was watching it on didn't show the the goal yeah. line technology. So I think it. Okay, Harry, stop making uh, premature predictions, my friend. We are nowhere near that title race with zero defense right now. Boys, you are uh, live. Uh, you are boys. You a living a treble winning Man City era. Uh, just keep your powder. Sorry, sorry, right. Can I just say quickly? Yeah, go on, mate. Rome, I love you, but. I do remember when we lost the other week, you were literally in this in this 
panel saying we need to keep believing. We need to believe. I'm trying okay, to believe. Wait, 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 wait. What I I understand when you say believe, but this is also not a Disney movie where it's just believe and we're gonna achieve. It that it doesn't work like that. <laughs> no, 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 bro, Dan. I was just I was just. Maybe, contradicting boys, I'm, 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 I'm really sorry to interject. I've got to get through these super chats. He says, "Let me remind you uh, that this fan base was in a dire state just a few weeks ago. A few wins and they go mad, and the same for their losses." I will give Deji credit. Deji didn't at any point lose faith. Like at least he's staying consistent with it. Um. Jerome here says, Harry, what you just said is nonsense. We are not better than Arsenal, even if they lose.